Hello, it's James from JRTBs. It's Saturday, May 27th, and it's Memorial Day weekend. Um, so thank you to all the veterans and everyone serving right now. Uh, just have a few things I'm doing today in the bee yard real quick. Um, this is a split I made pretty much the first split I made off the number seven and last time I was in here I found the new queen I think I have a video marked her red but they are pretty much full um, let me grab the smoker real quick so I just wanted to make a video on um, adding room, adding, you know, adding another box, and it would be the same whether it's a five frame nuke or a six frame nuke or, or adding your second deep box, as long as the frames are all the same, um, adding a super would be totally different because they're different size frames, so you can't move anything around, and if you don't have any drawn comb in your super, you don't have much of a choice but to just make sure they're heavily waxed and uh, let the bees move up in them without a clean excluder. But for this, I'll show you what I'm going to do. And uh, also, I have a friend who has two colonies. They got them this spring. Actually, it was more like March. And um, they're double deeps and they're doing really good. They've got lots of honey, but the last time she went in them, they couldn't find queens and they couldn't find brood. So it sounds like they could be queenless. So what I'm going to do is uh, you can see this is completely packed find the queen make sure I don't take her out but I want to find a frame with eggs on it eggs and some young larva and I'm gonna take the frame over to my friend's house and uh, do an inspection on their colony and if they are queenless then I can give them some eggs this is a very heavy frame honey and pollen so now this this is all honey this whole side this would be a great frame to move up into your second box whether it's a nuke or it's a you're adding a, you know another deep it would have been a great frame I'll move that one up another heavy frame Here's the queen. She's marked red. I'm gonna catch her. You see her there? She looks good. Just wanna catch her so I know she's safe through the whole process here. So there's some young larva around that capped brood. And there's more capped brood, young larva. No queen cells here. that off to the side so just give me some more room. I really want a frame with eggs to bring over to my friends. That one's got young larvae. I'm sure they can make a queen from that but I want to give them the best chance and the most time. That's all capped brood. So you see why I'm adding a second box on this. They're gonna explode while this hatches out. It's all capped brood. No queen cells. And this, I have these just sitting on blocks. This is kind of like my resource hive position. I have overwintered colonies sitting here like this once, and they made it fine. But this is more of just my resource hive. So that's why I'm gonna, I wanna try to find some eggs. Here's a real light frame. All right, so this one, you can 
see the eggs, hopefully. There's eggs, there's cat brood, there's young larva. There's a little bit of everything on this one. Yeah, so it'll set this colony back a little bit, but um, it's a resource hive, so I figure that's what it's for. So I'm gonna go put this in the back of the truck. I have one of those, uh, one of those bee caddies, or I forget what they're called. It's like a plastic bra box that holds the frames. All right, I'll be right back. what I need. Here's an empty frame I'll put back. just want to see what's on this outside. Very heavy. It's all pollen. So pollen and nectar. I'll leave that there. Put an empty one next to that. There's our queen. picture framing here. This one's got brood. Watch out girls. Come on. There you go. So I always try to center the brood. This one's got brood. Now you could move a brood frame up. I've done that before. That'll actually get them to go up there a little faster if there's brood. But there's uh, plenty of bees in here. Um, so let's uh, let the queen back down on her brood. See if she'll come out. There she comes. Oh, yep. She went back, yep. There she goes. Okay. So now we she, know she's down there. Here's my second box. Ciao, girls. Coming in. see so I had uh, this is a really old frame from one of my first two nukes that I started with there's some pollen in there little wax moth right there and it's good there's some open frame there's some honey pollen it came out from one of my two dead outs so I'm gonna put that in and then I've got this frame of honey Honey and pollen. I'm going to put that right in the middle. And that will for sure get them, get them to come up. Make sure you center your frames. I'll put that bees. Uh, that will get them to come up. And that's it. Top back on. They have plenty of room, don't have to worry about swarming, and uh, yeah, it's a good colony. They're nice and calm. And she's uh, from number seven, and that was my best colony last year. So they are, yeah, they're doing good, they're bringing in pollen, and that hive's gonna grow. 
all summer and I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I'm kind of saving that queen for if one of my big colonies ends up n not getting a queen back. Um, now this is, this is the yellow queen that swarmed, the first big swarm of the season. And they already have two boxes and it's getting really crowded in there. So um, I have, that's my dead out box. I want to transfer them over into the 10 frame equipment. And then I'm also looking for one more frame of goods. This is heavy. I don't think I'm going to be able to just pick this thing up and move it. Queen could be anywhere. I think I might take that. Let me shake these bees off. I'll use my top. Set that first box over off. Make it a little lighter for me. some honey in that one. Yeah, there's lots of bees. I think what I'll do is, let me see what you guys can see here. They all went down. I'm going to try to move that. Let me get this fixed here. Should be pretty stable. Pick the whole hive up. Move it over here. Put the new hive in position. Make sure it's set right. So now the foragers will have a place to come back. And now, start transferring some frames. And yeah, it's always good to put honey and pollen around the outsides and center all the brood. I think the top box, which is underneath, has mostly. Honey, that's all nectar, pollen, nectar and pollen, definitely an outside frame. Looking for the queen, this is all new larva, eggs, so this one actually might be a good one. This one might be a good one to take to my friends. I don't see the queen. I'll be right back when I can put this in the box and grab it in. empty there. Now I've never done this before where I've taken those egg frames. Um, you know, other than my own apiary, I've done it you know, a bunch of times and it works great when you don't have a queen, but um, I don't know. I don't know how long I have, you know, the humidity level changes, the temperature, the moisture, 
that's all brewed, that in the middle. Um, you know, as soon as I finish this colony here, I'm headed over there, so I'm hoping that those eggs will be still viable when I get over there. It's only about 10 minutes away. Look at that, all brand new comb with brand new brood. No sign of the queen yet. No queen cells, always checking for queen cells. Brood in the middle. Only one more frame left, looks like a honey frame. Not much light, it's a brood frame. And there's some cells there. I'm looking for the queen. Yeah, this is a this was on the edge, it's just all brood. I don't see the queen, so I'm assuming. Oh, there she is, marked yellow. She's nice. Beauty. Alright, I'm gonna catch her. Alright. Now I know the queen is safe. Let's check these queen cells out. Nothing in that one. Nothing. That's normal in a healthy colony. All right, so more brood in the middle. Watch out, girls. When you're putting your frames together, these uh, sidebars is where you always want to be careful. I'm not going to pinch the bees. There's a few bees left down in here, but not many. Let me see if I can shake a couple out. We'll go home eventually. All right, so we got the clean. Let's see what we got up here. Just working outside. This was an outside frame. That's all honey. We'll turn that around this way. We might put that on the outside. We'll see what else we got in here. These are all new frames. Wow, this one's full. Full of honey. Starting to cap that side on some pollen. So I'm going to put that one on the outside on this side. We'll push that, those two up together so they can work on them. Another heavy frame, there's Rude. So she was, up, she was upstairs. Look at that beautiful frame brood with all honey up around it. The honey dome. That's beautiful. We'll put that on this side. So now we got four brood frames here in the middle. Let's move the queen over here. Barely using any smoke. It's a beautiful day. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four brood, two honey, three honey. Oh boy, this is just that honey frame again with brood. You can see how fat they drew that honey. All brood, no cups. So this one. See if it fits. See now the honey's gonna hit. So what I do see how fat it is here? I'm just gonna cut it off. It's a pain in the neck. I'll just do it now, let it drop. They will they'll clean it up. When I push it up next to this brood frame. 
they won't do it again. It's just a pain in the neck when they when they get it out all fat like that. Wow, it's a nice clear new honey. We'll fix it. Okay. So now, now I can push this one over without interfering with the frame next to it. And it, it probably dripped all over, it could have dripped all over the brood, but I'll clean it up. Now I'm going to, this is a little thick here too, I'm just going to slice that down. It's really runny and it's capped it's just it's running out like water no wonder I'm so curious if I had my refractometer that does not look cured but again it's 90 95 to 100 degrees in the hive so all right I got one more frame Just a honey frame with pollen, honey. So see this side is pretty much 100% drawn out. This side, down this end, it's not completely drawn out. So instead of putting, putting it in like this, I would turn it around and put the more unfinished side towards the center to try and get them to work on it more. And then I'll put this in place of the one frame I took from my friend. And then center everything. And these girls should be good. I'll have to find a super to put on here. Um, but they have one, two, three, four, five six frames of brood so they're going to grow pretty quickly and I'm going to release the queen Let's see if she'll come out I see her in there a little shake. Oh, she doesn't want to come out. She's in there. Come on, girl. There she goes. I don't know if you saw it or not, but uh, she's in there now. But yeah, I don't have any drawn supers. They're all on the hives. So I run all singles. So I would just get a new super, heavy wax the foundations, you know, with my own wax. And then um, there's nothing I could do. You gotta put it on there. I and mean, I could take some frames from other colonies with some honey to kind of bait them up there. But um, I, I don't plan on getting any honey out of this colony this season. It'll be next season. So I'll just put a super right on top with no, Queen excluder, and then give them, give them the time to, to come up, and uh, we'll draw it out by fall. Probably be a full drawn out super full of honey, which I would leave for the for the bees for the winter. But that's it. I just wanted to bring you along. There's a few more bees left in there, but they're pretty much all gone. And now I have an extra super or an extra nuke box if I need it for a split. And then I'll show you what I have. I think it's the bee caddy or something it's called, this thing. Never used it before yet. No, the hive butler. So I got those two frames in here and this is hot. So I think I'm gonna put it behind a seat in the truck and I'm gonna head right on over and uh, help my friend out. All right.
Have a good day and happy Veterans Day. Have a good weekend. Good luck with your bees.